guys welcome back and happy friday i hope you guys are fine okay so i got asked a question how to set up your crossovers on my dash m32 and the best way to run them okay so for those who don't know what crossover means i already put that in the caption here so setting up your crossover is on my dash is pretty much easy because there are there's a parametric eq function that you can easily use and makes it easy for you to set it up setting this up you have to use your matrices to get things started so let's just get started so right here i'm going to just go to the sorry the last page on the boss sent which has the matrix function this is to set up a two-way stereo output system let's take a closer look and here first thing you want to do is to link your matrices this matrix bus matrix one and two i'm going to be sending that to my tops and matrix three and four i'll be sending that to my subs all right so i select matrix one and what i need to do is to go to where um the link is the first knob and i select link and that links matrix one and two for me okay and then next Thing I do is to link three and four together. If you take a closer look, you see that that's what is here. We have that linked now, and you can see the two channels are linked together. The next thing is to go to your main left and right, ensure that there's signal coming into it. That's what you're going to be sending as a signal that is going to be feeding your matrices. So select the main master bus and then come to your bus send here you want to use the first knob here to send in signal to your matrix one and two so if you look at this very well this is bringing up signal in your matrices all right so you might want to turn it up to your desired level and this second knob here is for panning but because i'm not i don't need to pan so i just leave it at zero and then this other knob here is to um, control the signal coming into matrix three. So you can see it goes into this and you have signal there already. So now that we have signal already in our matrix buses, let's now go ahead and set up our crossover filters. All right, so you want to select matrix one and ensure that you're selecting EQ, the EQ option already. I select my matrix one and two and come to this mode and select LR24 and ensure that I have engaged my EQ here. Press the view button so you can see it and ensure that you're engaging the low frequency. And here I just want to ensure that I'm turning the knob because I want to roll off the low end to about 100 Hertz or 98 so this works for me and then i want to looking at it definitely if you link the two what you do to matrix one happens to matrix two so i select you see matrix three i come here to set it to lr24 because that's the mode i want to use ensure that you're engaging or rather i want to roll up the eye hand here so i'm using the high cut so all i just need to do is come here and roll up the frequency to 100 so i'm taking out this whole frequency down to 100 and i think that's much better for me that's how i set crossover filter for my subs go to your routing use this to move to the patch point which takes you to the out channel that let's deal with the tops first come to output 15 matrix and i set it to matrix one you have to press the assign button and there you have it and i go to 16 and i set it to matrix 2 and then i go back to 13 and 14 which i'm using for my sub and come here matrix 3 that's how you assign it 14 matrix 4. there you have it wherever you are you are patching your sub or your left and right to so just ensure that you're sending your matrix system using the routing channel okay so now all you need to do is set your output to unity which is zero db on the board and then just drive in your matrix to your left and right that's how you set up your crossover there are other ways to do it too 
but this is one of the most simple ways to get it done on Midas and you can get the ball rolling that's all you need to do to send proper um, filtered signals to your your systems your sound systems I hope this was really helpful and if you do have any other questions please reach out to me and I'll be glad to help you out see you guys later bye